and welcome back. My name is Vanessa from Wild Woman Bushcraft. And today you can look behind the scenes. I will show you my camera equipment and how I make the movie like you see it ready on YouTube for you. If you want, come with me. So, now we are in the Commando Central. Here, um, this is my work area at home. This is where the farms come together. And here, this is a little bit like um, a workplace where the raw diamond is slotted. In the evening, when the noise level is low, I have enough concentration to make and work at the movie. And today I have so much to do that I don't have enough free head to make the video correct and um, as a good one. So the evening hour is my work hour here on the computer. Let's begin from the start. Before I make the video, the movie, I must have a plan and idea. What do I show you today? Because I um, don't want to make boring movies and those I telling every time the same or show every time the same. So it must be interested, interesting for you. And I have a small book and in this book I wrote down all my ideas, what I want to show. And um, yeah, before I start, I must have a plan. What I show you? Is it um, a product? Is it a how-to movie? Is it a trip movie? And yeah, I have to plan it. What is um, my idea for this movie? You see, there is always a plan. Before I start and go out, I make at home the plan what I show you. So the skeletal structure is always there. And sometimes I make me at home uh, point to point notes what um, I will show you that the movie is really interesting and not always the same. What um, special can I show you? And yeah, it is not often that I go out without any plans. An important thing in the movie is always the inspiration. I must have this idea burned here in my head. So, and I am so long time in the World Wide Web at the computer and I enjoyed a lot to, to have my inspiration out of books. I love books so much. I have over, I have more hundred books at home and of course a lot um, with the team bushcraft, plants and survival and I often read in those books to find any information or inspiration. So I uh, just want to give you a short, looks, a short look um, over my books. All the books that are um, for the team bushcraft, survival and plants and how to cook outside are here directly um, on my workplace that I can put it um, directly if I need them. And we will take now a, a short look over them. The, the books are, um, many of the books are very old, um, but I love every one of them. And now we just take a short look over them. This is a colorful mixture of all the important books for me, with every team what is interesting for me. Um, so from self sufficient sheet to plants and knife and it's all there. And of course um, there are many magazines that I that I um, read. So um, this is the survival magazine 
before this um, yeah you can buy it here in Germany and in Austria and I also work for the survival magazine and this is the reason <laughs> why I have so many of them because when I wrote something I don't want to give it away I um, yeah I like it to have it here at home so I can see it when I want those are my books for my working um, team on YouTube. Um, yeah, of course they are all in German. I have um, books about wildflowers and edible plants, mushroom, um, other with the pocket knife from Felix Imler, the escape backpack. Um, books about um, year plants um, you can eat outside and, and this is a prepper book and survival guide a really big one um, knife book also very interesting and a book about mini farming and this is a great book that, um, is called Into the Wild and I love it because um, this um, this is not only um, about the edible plants it is also about South Safanshi how to make um, meat long term and all those kind of teams here yeah, while cooking, while cooking, while cooking the big survival guide and Fire Making by Taro, also a great book. Yeah, I love every one of those books and um, yeah, I said they are all in German, but I will look if they are also, um, also edible in English and if it is, I will um, wrote all the links to those books here in the video description so if you are interested in one of those books please look down here the right work only begins here at home when i am outside and make the movie this is very easy for me because um, this is what i love to do this is my hobby it doesn't matter if i had the camera with me and i am always filming because um, bushcraft and all the things that I am doing outside is what I love. The really work only begins here on my computer and this is sometimes really difficult for me because um, this costs a lot of time and it is not so easy every time. So sometimes my head is like a burning. <laughs> Um, why this is so and what happened here on my computer, i show you now. Before we start with the computer, I will show you my hard piece. Um, my camera equipment, what I use that I can make the movie. At first, in the start of filming, I bought me a camera just to make family memories um, like those movies that nobody is watching and um, yeah this the first camera was also um, yeah they cost a lot there there was about 600 euros so um, yeah this was um, really much for me and that then I start filming for YouTube and at first it was just primitive put the camera in the backpack and this is all and but the time the equipment um, was um, more um, I, ha I had a higher quality and cost of course more so when at the start I just have one camera and here yeah, now I have on um, backpack with high quality equipment. I never thought that I need an extra camera backpack. So I tell you that I um, carried a camera in the past 
uh, just in our head in my normal backpack. But now uh, there's so m many equipment that the stuff works. So I bought me this camera backpack from Rolleye and this is so comfortable to wear, you see it here. And I had here um, a zipper to open directly. So here is my um, filming camera normally. And I don't must to open the whole backpack, I just can open this and have everything I need. Here is a small um, a small bag for my notice paper and um, the pencil and all of those um, small stuff. And here it is the heart piece. We will take now a look inside. So this is not all of my equipment but the most. Um, here I have just only the small stuff like flashlight and um, cable to load the camera. And here in small bag because um, I had to put the camera battery into my sleeping bag when it is very cold outside. So um, this is a small tripod. I have of course the another one which um, those I am filming now and I I think I need a, a smaller tripod just to film by cooking or um, doing something on the earth and it is also very good to make photos. Here is normally my film, filming camera but of course um, it is in use now. Um, here this is um, a small um, um, it is normally for um, snow, 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 sneeze? <laughs> when your nose is running. Um, it is washable. But I use it um, to save my camera when it is raining or snowing outside. Because um, uh, when it is snowing I have always those water drops on the camera. But um, Till yet nothing has happened, but I think it isn't so good for the electricity of the camera. So I always put this here over the camera to protect the camera. So um, profi photographer will, will love now that I use this because there are extra umbrellas to save the camera. But um, you don't know how much those silly umbrella for the camera cost. So I use this one. Here is a small action cam. It don't must be always um, the action cam which cost the most. I, I think I don't must to tell names. This here is just a very simple SJ cam and I use it um, when I film something in or add the water. So I have an um, extra waterproof um, house for those camera but um, this, this thing I don't take with me all the time because I don't need it so ma much. What is very important by filming are those, um, those power banks. Um, when the camera echo uh, battery is low, I have to load them up that I can film again. This here is my old photo camera. It is a um, um, Nikon D3100. Um, it is a year. Yeah, it is, I think it is an old one. Um, the best years of the camera are over but it works so um, I I want for so long time a new camera but um, in the past I have to make um, 
um, choice what I thought at next new camera or new filming camera and of course I choose the filming camera so it makes her job but it is not the best one and I am um, I love to photography um, at most of the small things like insects or flowers and so um, yeah I wish me a new camera in the future and sometimes it will be there. This year is my old filming camera. I use it for many years and it is broken a few times and yeah the best days are over it is um it is broken at some points but it also works and i i think often if i should sell them but it works and um if i do very special trips like um yeah a really wet trip when it is raining i use this because when this one is broken it is okay now I switch the camera, the old camera is filming that I can show you my new camera. Um, I have to both a new camera because the old one has those um, flimmering lights um, in the picture. So I've bought me again a Sony camera because um, the old one was very good. And um, yeah, I think that this is a good um, manufacturer. So um, I bought this new camera. It costs um, about 1000 euros, a lot for me. And I chose this one because I can film in 4K. So, and I have here again those, um, those safety glass. Um, this is not included. I've bought this extra to save the um, objective um, against um, wet, raining and snowing. So here isn't the projector inside like in the old one and I don't have an um, intern light uh, like I have it here at the old one. With the old one when it is dark I can put the, the inside light on and uh, this what I want to film was um, now in light so but this camera had a night shot modus um, I can film when it is absolutely dark and this is um, perfect when I am filming animals in the night because they don't see any light so yeah I think this is a very good camera and um, I've bought this and a few weeks later I was making my self sophianci movie and I was filming and uh, by the sheep and Sometimes perhaps the sheep are running out and I was filming with the camera display open and they are running against the tripod and the camera is falling down like this and the display was broken and also the camera house so I have to repair them and um, yeah I was so angry because I bought those camera for a thousand euros and this is really a lot of money for me and then it was um, broken and I had to repair it for 800 euros so I was so angry but yeah I it happened to me the sheep can <laughs> they are not the the bad ones <laughs> yeah such things happen but it is important for me that I have a camera what is okay and which that I can film this is my tripod I used the whole time um, I had the, before this one a tripod for um, 30 euros and this was not so good so I bought me a new one this cost about um, 
80 euro it is also from Corolli. Of course there are um, another high-end uh, variants with carbon so they are very light but this works and it is absolutely okay for me. This was my camera equipment and backpack and now we have came back to my office and you see on the computer where I work. At first when I make YouTube movies I had just a um, program from the internet. It was a freeware and I had on um, every movie such a um, silly watermark. So this is was really primitive. So I bought me um, a really fast um, work a movie web program. Um, it was um, the power director and then I I've worked with it and at the first steps um, I was glad when the movie was okay. Um, so it was really hard to work because it was something really new and then it is going better and better and um, I try to make my own type of work so that the people can um, they can see yeah this is this is my art my kind of making movies and it is, I think it is okay now at first I had to work with the movies here those um, Lenovo laptop but um, with the time this laptop was so slowly and I can't even work with it um, because um, it takes too much time. For the normal using it was absolutely okay but even when I make um, I want to make movies um, it it was all frozen I can't do anything and here it is going out and without I want it and yeah this caused too much of my energy so um, I had to buy for making and creating movies another laptop and I bought me those um, HP it is um, a gaming laptop at first I want to buy a tower with a um, normal flat but um, now it is it was a um, laptop again here I had only what I really need. At this laptop um, I had everything up on it. The pictures, the movies, at all. And then uh, this laptop was full and empty. So now I have here an um, extra... Um, I don't know the right word. It is, um, it is um, an extern... Um, I can save all my stuff here, my documents and the movies and the pictures. So and here is only the important things what I create at the moment. The, the actually pictures and the programs I really need and use and the actually movies. So this one here is only to work and when it's working this costs very much energy when I make the movies. So when I do another thing here um, this is too much. So for normal using I had here this laptop for my emails and all the private stuff. Under this laptop I had an extra fan because when I make the movies um, this costs uh, really much energy for the computer and that the computer can't overheat I had here those extra fan under it. At first I had to save all the files on the laptop. So at the old laptop this takes um, about an hour and then the computer is out and I can't use it so um, here on the new laptop um, this needs about 10 minutes of my time so I I've opened my working program my movie working program and I've put all the 
uh, clips into this program. So we will see it here. I open it and bring it all into my working program. So and then the work begins. I had to search all the clips where I've made um, a mistake where I've said something wrong and I had to begin new and so this must all out and you know I make um, all my movies in German and English so I had to put um, the right I had to choose the right language and bring all the um, fails language out and then in every in every clip I had um, a still um, point at the start and at the end I had to cut this out that um, the scene is right and then you see it here um, I had to um, put those um, um, I had to put something between the clips that it uh, is um, nice for the eyes and it ends not so abrupt. And then I I had to make all this rotten things here in the start and in the end. I um, must choose the right music. So um, I had here some music, some examples on the program and also at YouTube. So it is sometimes very difficult to find the right music because it must be um, it must be harmony with the picture. So then I put this here down. And I had also um, make the, the noise, um, sometimes it, it is very loud and then it's um, very still. It is always difficult how near or how far away I am from the camera. So when I, uh, I had a trip movie, this all what you see here um, needs about 10 hours to make it. This is a really long time and when this is ready I can start the rendering. So um, I try in the last times to rendering in 4K so this is high quality but this also need um, a long time to uh, start the process. And you hear it, um, the computer is getting very loud now. This needs very much energy from the computer. So it is better if I do nothing else in this time. When the movie is ready I had to load up the movie here on YouTube. So I put this item and um, choose the video which I want to load up. So this is the movie that is online online tomorrow. I had to make now the text ready and um, what is wrote in there and this here are the um, thumbnails. So this is important that the right um, person find my movie. When you're tipping there in the search list uh, bushcraft, maybe um, you see my videos because I had here in the thumb thumbnail bushcraft. In my movie it is about bushcraft, it is about survival, um, wilderness, tracking and all of those stuff. Um, stuff. So, and here I see um, how long it takes if the movie is ready. And now I can um, click here and make um, my, uh, I forget the right word, in German we call it Werbung. So you know um, you can become money from YouTube. When you are a bigger YouTuber um, you can put those product tips in your movie and then you get money from YouTube. So the word um, for which I was searching was advertising. 
So I had here the point advertising and when I click it on I can um, choose how many advertising is on my movie. The first one is on every movie but I can choose here how many advertising I will have and on which point. And which advertising it is. Is it is an overlay advertising or um, can, can you click it away or not. So when you have a lot advertising in your movie you will get a lot of money from YouTube. Um, more is better but um, people don't like that much advertising so I've choose only three in every movie. And yeah for this advertising I've got money from YouTube. Now I had to make just one click to make the movie um, open for everyone that everyone can watch it. I can choose the day on which day it will be onla online and on at which time. When the movie is ready and online you can um, wrote me comments under this movie and um, I've got so many so friendly and lovely comments. This makes me so happy and um, which those comments I see here yeah, is this right what I am doing and the people like my movies. This is great. So thank you for all those uh, lovely comments. I try to answer a lot but um, you must see that this needs so many time and I am not able to answer every comment sorry but I read every comment every 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 one and those comments are so nice thank you it is also important for me to be on Facebook here you see all my actually movies and what I am doing photos from the moment and I am also on Instagram um, you find um, my Facebook channel um, under my name Vanessa Blank. Then I have um, the site from the German channel Out of Bavaria and of course also Wild Woman Bushcraft. At Instagram you find me under the name Out of Bavaria. So this was it, all what is behind the scenes of a YouTube movie. You see there is a lot to do, there is a lot to work, it is not so easy like it seems sometimes. Um, this cost a lot of time. Um, in this year I um, make my hobby to my job. So actually I live from YouTube. YouTube is my job. Um, I, I've become money from the advertising that I put in my movies. So um, every advertising will bring me money and I can choose how many advertising there is. But um, it is important to find the right balance. So at one point I must live from this money and at the other point I know how um, how bad it is when you ha when you want to watch a movie and there are so many advertising in it and you just want to click it away. So I I hope <coughs> sorry I hope I found uh, out the right balance for you and for me. So um, um. It is all just because of you. When you weren't there and don't write me such nice um, comments, I don't want to do this. And I've got um, very much PayPal money. Um, I said it once in a movie that my camera was broken by the <coughs> self sophiancy movie and that it uh, will cost a lot of time to um, repair the camera 
And then some of you are so nice to spend me some paper money and that helps me a lot. And I've wrote my pay pay PayPal address under every movie. So if you want to spend something, you can do it. But um, I don't put those money into new clothes or going out to eat. So I've put all those money in my camera equipment, like the new camera, um, the repair of the camera, and now the new laptop. And I had a new cutting and work, a uh, movie work program, and all of this um, cost cost many money. So and your PayPal spend will going um, complete into this. So thank you again. YouTube is not um, nothing you do it sometimes. Um, it costs really, really much time if you do it like I do. And But I do this, uh, I, I like to do this. It is better than a normal job so I can be all the time outside in the nature and enjoy the nature and just just filming by the way and this is this is great I, I don't want to do anything else than this so um it is um late in the night now and i can speak so good uh, you hear it um i think i think I, i've said enough and yeah this movie will end there i had to go to bed and so i want to say thank you for your support, thank you for being subscriber and thank you for all the nice comments and for sending me um, paypal money. Thank you all. So I hope we see us again at the next movie. Have a great time. Bye bye. I'm going now to bed.